everybody. So here's what uh, I'm wanting you guys to do. So if you were able to get Bridge, uh, what you are able to do is you're able to go into Camera Raw. <laughs> I love this picture. And um, you have your snapshots here. Now, if you don't have Adobe Bridge, you won't have snapshots. So what you're going to do is, you know what, let me show you that in a minute. So this, this person, like if you can get into Camera Raw with snapshots, you'll just do like this and you'll say original. Okay. And if you want to, you can click this little button here. You can have two images and be able to change one. I don't know if that's adding any texture or not. Let's add some clarity, some vibrance. Um, I'll come up here and say, I'll just say number one. It's my first edit. Now, if you can't get into snapshots, you're just going to do a screenshot of this. Because you can get to this, where you have this and this. And I'll show you some examples in just a second. Um, maybe you want to try black and white. Okay. And so, I'll come up here. And you could say two. Okay, now if you can't get into snapshots, like if you don't have Adobe Bridge, you'll just have to do a screenshot. Just Command Shift 3, just do a screenshot of this. Maybe you want to try a vignette around the edges. I'm a vignette. I, I love vignettes. You want them to be kind of to be kind of soft. Feathery. Make it grainy. Let's see. I wonder if it'll let me zoom in. Let's see. Oh, look at that. It does. So grainy is where you add a little bit of, it's called noise. I kind of like that. Okay. So then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to say number three. I'm going to say grain so I can remember. I'm going to zoom in. And then I can see my original. Let's see, my first edit, my second edit, my third edit. Okay, so you hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. You can even change, um, like tons, there's tons of stuff you can go in here and change. Just experiment here. Uh, I'm not sure if I told you this. Your, your computer will probably be on parametric, but you want to go to point. And you could bump up the highlights just a tad and bring this down just a tad. That's a pho photo photographers they do this. They do a little um, S curve with their um, curves. And I don't know if I showed you this or not, but you can sharpen and then you can hold down Option if your computer doesn't lag. And I know it looks funny but pull it over so it only sharpens what you want. Like if we just wanted uh, Abby sharpened and Dylan a little bit and Landon a little bit, that's where we would put it. If we wanted all of them sharpened, that would be here. And I'm holding down option while I'm moving this. I think I just want Abby to be the main focus. Okay. My computer's going slow. So now it's zero. I might have to zoom in and see if it makes a difference. Let's see here. It made it kind of kind of grainy, didn't it? Oh, it's going back and forth. Lovely. Okay, let's zoom back out. Okay, and then I'm just gonna say number four. Oop. Okay, but you go crazy. So then what you'll do is you will submit 
you will submit those. You know what? It looks like everybody's going to have to do screenshots. Why don't we just all do it? Because then it'll be, it'll be easy. Where, so everybody's submissions will look like, you'll press this little button here. Okay. And then you'll have that. You'll take a screenshot. Then you'll do your next edit and do a screenshot. You'll do your next edit, do a screenshot. You'll do your next edit and do a screenshot. So don't worry about coming over here and saving it as a JPEG because you have to save it as a JPEG um, to get it to take your edits into your Google Drive. So if you didn't figure that out, just by clicking and dragging this picture, well, actually it would probably say DNG, clicking and dragging that into your Google Drive, it doesn't take your edits. It takes um, it takes the original picture. Okay, and I'm not sure. Well, I do know why. It's just the way the program works. It's always worked that way. So it would take this picture into your Google Drive instead of your your edit. Okay. But we don't have to worry about that today because you're just going to do screenshots. Oops, I can 